Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. Aren't these cute? These are little cat pillows and I've made them out of different fabrics. This is Christmas fabric. The one in the middle here is Halloween fabric and the one on my right is made out of fall fabric. Now you can make it without putting the embellishments on or just keep a simple little bow. You don't have to make them really fancy. They'll look great either way. But if you'll notice, this one has a tail. Now, you can put the tail on anywhere you want. This one does not have the tail. So it'll look great with or without the tail. It's up to you. Another idea for these is make two the same and use them as little bookends on a shelf. I think these are really so adorable. Okay, let's get started. I wanted to show you where I got the inspiration for this cat pillow. I do a lot of quilting. I used to do even more, but one of the blocks I used to love to make was the cat quilt block. It's a very popular block in sewing. There's several versions of it. One that looks like this, then there's another one that's very simple. It's just straight this way, no neck, and then just straight and sloped down. There's no tail on it. That's where I got this inspiration. So it's really, really easy. It'll take you just about two minutes to draw your pattern. Now this looks a little complicated, but it's not. It's only because I have a lot of little notes to myself on it because I don't want to leave anything out. My paper is 12 and a half inches wide this way and 12 inches wide that way. And so what I'm doing is up from this edge, I'm gonna go in one and a quarter inches and I'm going to draw a line all the way down there. And then down here, three inches from the bottom, I'm gonna start sloping down here and around. This is the cat paw right here. Now you can make this any shape you want, any length at all, it doesn't matter. So now from this line, go over three and a half inches. So three and a half inches of space is right here. And then go down and draw a line four and a half inches. From this point, go out six and a half inches and draw a line and then draw a straight line down to the bottom of your paper. Now down in this corner, you can take something round and draw a curve line. This is where the neck is. And then come over here, and when your circle hits the line up here and the line over here, draw a curved line. Now go down about three quarters of an inch and go in one and a half inches and put a little dot and then do the same thing over here. Come over one and a half inches and put a little dot. Then you're going to, from those dots, draw a line this way and then a line this way. And then to connect the two points, just kind of draw a small little curved line. Nothing too high, just a little bit. This is the top of the cat's head. Now I like to draw my patterns onto thin cardstock. You don't have to, you can leave it on the paper. But I wanted you to indicate an opening here at the bottom of your pattern. That's where you're gonna turn it front side out and this is where we'll also insert the stuffing. And then if you're gonna put the tail on it, you wanna gum up a quarter of an inch and leave a one and a half inch wide opening here to insert the tail. I've taken the pretty sides of my fabric and I brought them together. So now I'm looking at the back of the fabric. So then take your pattern and lay it on top of your fabric and then trace around it with either a pencil or a pin. It's not gonna show through on your fabric. Then go ahead and cut it out. Now make sure you have a few pins scattered around to hold it together while you are cutting it out. Then place pins around the edges to hold it together. 
Now, on your opening down here, on one side I have two pins. That's where I, it's to remind me to not stitch there. And then this is where I'm going to start to stitch. So back stitch here, then you're going to stitch down around, staying one quarter inch away from your raw edge, all the way around. Now up here in the corner, make sure that you have a little point up here for the ear. Now you can draw some lines here to help you get around that area, or you can just kind of wing it like I do. And then around here on the curve. When you come down to here where the tail goes, you want to back stitch. Now if you're not going to do a tail, you would stitch all the way down. Then stitch across here to close up this edge. Now on both ear points, you want to trim some of the fabric off. And I trim it to where there's about an eighth of an inch from the point. I'll also take a little bit off on each side. Wherever there is a curved edge, you want to go in and clip it. And this will help the fabric to lay down much nicer. So you go around this edge here. This is also a curved edge. And over here at the paw is a curved edge. And then the very top of the head is also a curved edge. Now here is my tail. And I'll show you towards the end of the tutorial how to draw a tail if you want to use it. So you want to go ahead and put your polyfill stuffing. It's just this white stuff like this. You can buy it at fabric stores, craft stores, they sell it. So you want to make sure you stuff it all the way. And I use little sticks like this to push it in. Now you don't want to fill it so much that you can't get it stitched into your seam. So you want to leave this last little half inch or inch or so unfilled. Then you want to close it up, stitch across here on your sewing machine because it's going to be a lot easier to put it on. Now make sure you have the tail facing up like this before you insert it into the cat. So open it up through this opening at the bottom and insert it over to where it's lined up here. So now I have the tail in there and then you want to go ahead and I would place at least a little pin along here to hold it while you're stitching and then stitch this edge closed. So now turn it front side out, pull the tail out and then begin turning the fabric. In your bag of polyfill stuffing, they come with a little stick like this. So you want to use this to help you push the polyfill in small little places, like the ears. So what I do is I take a very small little piece of polyfill. Don't take a big blob of it, because it won't go up in there. Push it inside up to the ears and then go ahead and take your stick and push it in. So fill your ears in first, then continue filling the head, then continue uh, filling it in across here. Then when you get down here to the foot, put a little bit in at a time and again use your stick to push it in there if you need to. Need to. So then Fill it all the way into the bottom. Now this cat is going to take a lot of polyfill stuffing. You'll be surprised how much can fit inside. This is not enough. It's going to take a lot more than that. So you want to keep stuffing. Now don't fill it so much that you can't get your opening closed at the bottom. So you want to leave enough little space to turn those edges in at the bottom. And then you can either do a little whip stitch where you just go around and around to close it up. Or if you want to learn how to make, to do a ladder stitch, I have a tutorial 
on that. So that will also be in the description section below your YouTube screen. And that's a hidden stitch that can't be seen. So you go ahead and close up this opening. If you're gonna have the tail on, then I use hot glue to bring it around from the side and glued it down. Now all these little bows, I hot glued it on. So you can make any kind of a bow or maybe you just want to take a flower and glue it up there. It's really up to you. If you're interested in the tail, then this is how you draw it. Now you can draw your tail any size or any kind of curvy tail that you would like to do. I took a piece of paper that was three and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches this way. And then I came up from the bottom about one and a quarter inches. And then from this edge, I came in about a half inch and I drew a line, okay? And then down here at this corner, come in about one and a quarter inches and you're gonna start drawing your little curved end of the tail and then come down and about three and a half inches from this corner, I began slowly coming back up to this line. And that this is how your tail should look. And you cut out two pieces of fabric. You stitch just on these edges, one quarter inch wide seam. Leave this end opening so that you can put the polyfill stuffing in. I use hot glue to put my little decorations on it. Now this one here, the Christmas one, I just tied a simple bow. And then these were some uh, Dollar Tree little embellishments, foliage that I got. On this one, bow, I used Halloween fabric with candy corn on it. I cut some short pieces of fabric. Oh, I don't really remember how long, but maybe six inches. I used pinking shears to give it a decorative edge. And I cut a whole bunch of them, bunched them up, tied around it, a knot around it to hold it all together and fluffed it up. And then this one, just some foliage from Dollar Tree, a big sunflower, a few other little leaves. They're all hot glued on. Now, if you're interested in making a really nice bow for this, then I do have a bow tutorial in which you can learn how to, this one will be in there uh, along with several others. So I will have that link listed below your YouTube screen. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. To get to all those links, scroll down to the description section till you see the words show more. Click on that and it will expand open. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny. See you next time.